Good morning guys and it is the first day back at school which this morning I really wasn't excited for I was tired as shit um, but now I'm actually quite excited and it's time to get ready but I actually woke up late this morning which wasn't good which wasn't a good start at all but I don't know if I'll, if I'll be able to film in school but I'm doing drama after school so I might be able to film some of that might catch you then so I'm back home and I, you know, I'm just sat here and I hear a funny noise so I go to my dad's room and this is what it is. <laughs> That's a spy on me! Oh, oh, that's a nap! If you can hear that really loud racket right now, that is my dad's music. It is awful. I hate it and I really wish he got a different music taste. Oh my god, it does my head in. I just have to say, sorry for this sh vlog being short. I know it's going to be short by the end of the day because it's quite hard to film in school. Bearing in mind, like, I haven't told my friends I'm a vlogger or anything like that. Plus, as soon as I tell them, they'd go watch it and it'll be kind of awkward. So I'm going to keep it short. There's only five weeks left of school. So after that, I get 11 weeks of, you know, adventuring vlogging. So it should be better. Uh, so right now, in a couple of minutes, actually, I'm going to go to my physiotherapist because at the moment my my hips are like all bent and distorted and they click and crack all over the place it's really weird especially that's why uh, I don't know two or three vlogs ago I I went to, to uh, went to a Pilates class because it's meant to click it back into place but it really didn't knew that much so I'm off to a physiotherapist after that uh, we're doing my drama today, for those who want to know, I know there's not many of you, but uh, <laughs> uh, for drama, for the drama GCSE you have to do like a final piece production and I'm in a group of three people, me, Toby and Libby, and we're doing Teachers, the play, and we've sort of adapted it in a full, few funny ways. It's been a bit wild, to be honest, I mean we, we used to have four and then the girl dropped out like a couple of weeks ago, so it's all messed everything up. Oh, it's a bit stressful, but basically... Ugh. One of the teachers is a bitch as well, so she's muddling everything around. But we've actually cracked on today. Today, you know, I know most of the lines, stuff like that. So that's made me feel a bit happier. Uh, so yeah, it gets me more and more excited for summer. Oh, when can exams be over so I can enjoy this beauty? Oh, look at that! Oh, that is amazing. Oh, I'm buzzing. Sorry for like all the pinkness, this is my sister's room actually, it's the only good place I can get decent lighting from this like sun and stuff like that. But I've just listened to a really good song. Uh, John Newman and Sagala just released a song yesterday called Give Me A Love and it just gets the vibes going. I absolutely love it. Will I Am's new song is pretty great as well, a bit groovy. But this John Newman one, this just like reminds me of the Lean On by Major Lazer last year and oh my god, I just love it so much. Uh, and yesterday I did a bit of online shopping on ASOS and stuff like that for summer clothes which I'm excited to get but I need money so I'm actually applying for a few jobs at the moment one in KFC I did yesterday and I actually applied for a cafe so that should be a bit of extra money to buy like clothes and stuff like that but the thing about this summer is this summer is going to be 11 weeks long because I go on stand down and then after all my exams are over we get an extended summer for year 11s and it's 11 weeks, that's actually absurd. I'm going to be so bored I actually think. And plus the summer in Britain really isn't summer whatsoever, it's just rain, rain, rain. Maybe one odd few days where like, you know, summer and then that, that's when everyone like just strips out and just... <laughs> You, you go to the pub down the road and there's people topless coming out like just the one bit one bit of summer you get Plus the only thing is though my friends my friends are all going on holiday and I'm not going on holiday this year I'm gonna be so bored like I'm gonna have no one now like, my friend Imogen uh, my friend Imogen <laughs> Imogen's off to America for three weeks and that just gets me so jealous I want to go to America and people off to Spain and they just want to be in that warmth oh I'm missing out. I've got to. I've got to stick with this guy who's listening to crazy rock right now for 11 weeks. No. <laughs> Doing two years, I'd say. That's what she even says that herself. But that means she comes back here and you know she goes out all the time. 
and then she will come back at like, I don't know, 3 o'clock in the morning, wake everybody up, she uses the towel, she uses all my conditioner, which just grinds my gears, you know, this type of stuff, oh, oh no, I'm not looking forward to it, no! Don't get me wrong, I do love my sister, but, but if you just look at this room, you can see what type of girl she is. So I'm on my way to the physio now, and it is my favourite time of day, when the sun is setting and dusk is upon us. That is my favourite time. Look at that. That is amazing. I get to walk past that near enough every day. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm at the orthodontist and it appears like I have a snapping so is tandem. Great. So she's giving me some exercises to do, so we'll see how it goes. So there you go, my physio is done. Turns out I have a snapping so is tandem. So she's booked me in for an x-ray, which is all good, and she was lovely. Uh, Dawn Willis, you'll never probably watch this, but you know, you're a really nice lady, so there you go. Uh, so yeah, I'm booked in for an x-ray and I have to do some physiotherapy and basically do more Pilates and she could give me some stretches and stuff like that. So it's all good, it's no big problem, but it can lead to other difficulties, which I'm not helping for. So yeah, that's all out of the way. And it's this, which is my favourite time of day. Look at that, when it's just not quite dark enough, but it's still blue, street lamps are on, and your smells, you can like smell of Spain. And that is a smell I love. Dusk is my favourite time of the day. Just been into Morrison's, really fancied some grapes, so there you go. And I saw my teacher in there, Mr. Bovington, one of my all time favourite teachers. Always respect your teachers. You know, people give this man a hard time, and he is the most loving teacher I've ever met in my life. If there's one, you know, tip I can give you, always respect teachers. I mean, don't be a dick, don't be that. Just, you know, when you get out of school and stuff like that, even though I'm, not, I'm still in school, but I, I really, I realize him for what he is, and he is an absolute legend. So, here's the Bovington, some grapes. Right, I'm ending the vlog here, guys. I just got nice lighting from this uh, charity shop, so that's why. Just want to say thanks so much for watching, and uh, like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter for updates. Thanks.